Hello and welcome to the Internet Art Exhibition where I, Bryn Daniel, aka Diet Markiplier Zero, find images on the internet for you and make fun of them and also traumatize you and me with those images. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> That's a fucking lie, isn't it? <laughs> We're not gonna have a good time. So our first image our first image here is um it's foot restaurant. <laughs> foot Restaurant. Now, there's no restaurant here. These are just people eating feet in the void. Uh, these people look like they've had synthol injected directly into their foreheads. They kind of look like a, a little bit like the Elephant Man, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you don't know what synthol is, it's a it's a type of, of thing. It's a liquid that bodybuilders inject into their muscles to kind of smooth and balance everything out. But some people go way too far with it, and they just inject a bunch of synthol directly into their arms, and then the uh, flesh becomes necrotic and it dies, and it's really fucking gross. And uh, it kind of look like bicycle inner tube people. And it, it, it's weird. It's it's really weird and, and, and uncovering. Uh, you're going to Google it. Go ahead and Google it. Uh, enjoy that. I'm, I'm glad that I've sent you on this journey. The one on the left, I kind of like to think of it as just a disembodied head. I've already come up with a narrative for these people. Uh, it's, it's Jack and Jane and their floating head Darby. Uh, they just eat the legs and the feet. They just eat the legs and the feet off of the people. They, they grab people from the park. They bring them home. They make them a nice, like, rump roast. Uh, they feed them the rump roast. Then they fucking kill them, rip their legs off, and eat them. And they save the rest of their body parts for Jack and Bill. And Jack and Bill, they love to use every part of the body, except for the eyes, which they save for their friend Gourmet Steve. Um, um, what, what's a good rating? Um, uh, fuck. Uh, four, 14. Is 14. There we go. It, not out of anything, just a, just a solid 14. All right, so this next picture is a little, little unsettling, but not surprising in any way. It's a cartoon character of some type, uh, and they have, uh, they have really strong. That's that's just it. They have really, really strong. It always bothers me how these people who draw muscular characters always make them incredibly disproportionate. And I know some bodybuilders look incredibly disproportionate, but like to fantasy levels, to fantasy levels never known about. Like this character looks. Like it has Lou Gehrig's disease. And by that I mean, it has baseballs inside of its fucking body. I'm gonna give this one a home run. <whistles> Woo! Out of the park. Look at that. It's, it's fucking gone. Thank God, now that it's gone, I never have to deal with it again. So this picture, uh, please God let this picture be a joke. Please God let this picture be a joke. Uh, and if it's not, my reaction is going to be, you know, you know when a chef, he, 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 he tastes something good and he goes, mwah, mwah, he kisses the air. Imagine if right after he goes, Mwah, he throws up, so it's kind of like, kind of like a nauseous Dracula, like, Mwah, Mwah, like like that. I'm, I'm pretty much a sick vampire if this image is real. Uh, one thing, two things, three things about this picture, actually. I, I have th three things to say now that I think about it. Uh, his left hand is fucking broken. He's so numb from the fucking pain medication for his left broken fucking hand that he can't help but smile. He's on so much goddamn morphine right now that he can't feel a fucking thing. Uh, two, his sash looks like a pair of blue pants. It looks like his headband ends in a pair of blue pants. It's, it's, it's blue jeans or blue pants, something like that, and that's kind of fucking weird. You know, I don't think the, the, the headband sash should, should be that long. And another thing is his hair looks less like Naruto and more like old Bart Simpson, like 30-year-old Bart Simpson. That's, that's pretty much the image out of, uh, I get out of this. You know, it's, it's, it's old Bart Simpson morphed into SpongeBob cosplaying as Naruto, and he's just killed a fucking hamburger. So I'm going to give this uh, 10 sesame seeds out of 410. That seems good, like a, like a strong 10 sesame seeds out of 410. <laughs> so, this fucking picture. I, uh, I love the, the tiny face Danny Phantom. I love the, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Polish because I put it into Google Translate and I'm going to be reading it here in a second. And I love that the body is just copy and pasted. It's just the same fucking body, copy and pasted. At least the heads are different. I always love it when people using MS Paint or, or Paint.net or other shit... Uh, can't take the time to just fucking get rid of the artifacts, get rid of the little white spaces, can't just fucking fix it. Like, they have to leave the, the vulgar, awful lines in there. They don't have enough time to fix it. This is this perfect the way it is. There's no problems with this whatsoever. Uh, so let's read uh, what this says. The Google Translate, however, not being completely accurate. Someone will correct it in the comments in, in common parlance, common common language. Uh, once you tell the secret, and now you and now let me, but, but I get home. I, uh, I, I don't know. I, I think this is some part of some ongoing series. I only found this picture. I, uh, really, it's just, it, it tells all, doesn't it? It just kind of tells itself. It's a story that tells itself. It doesn't have to say anything to you. All the words are already being spoken. The, this picture is worth a billion words. And that's the score I'm going to give this. Four.
One question, um, why? Why did you make this? Why did you make this car, man? Why did you, why did you decide to make Vehicle Boy? What, it, what even, what even constitutes a Vehicle Boy? Is this a Vehicle Boy? I'm pretty sure this is a Vehicle Boy. Where are his eyes? Are his eyes the headlights or are his eyes the windshield wipers? Does he have a little cute anime smug face going on or is he a gangster motherfucker who's got his eyes wide open all the time? I'm pretty sure the headlights are the eyes and that creeps me out even more. One... One other thing, uh, the, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air shorts are, are really nice. They are a nice touch. So are the purple and gold fingerless gloves, purple, gold, and, and green fingerless gloves, uh, judging by his other hand, and the, uh, the backwards thumb, or is that just his thumb on his current hand? I can't really, can't really tell what hand that's on. Uh, but the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air shorts really do clash with uh, the rest of Carboy's body here. And I don't, I don't want to be carist, I don't want to be a uh, vehicleist, but let's, let's be very clear here. Uh, it's, it's really clashing. And also, is the word vagina, is the word vagina on his other pant leg? Is, is that what, is, is that what, is, is that, uh huh? Is the word vagina on the other side of his pant leg? Huh? Why would you put the word vagina on his shorts? Who the fuck would wear shorts that say, you know what? I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say who the fuck would wear purple shorts with the word vagina on one side and the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on the other side. Because you know what? Someone fucking out there wants a pair of fucking shorts with the Fresh fucking Prince of Bel-Air logo on one side and just the word vagina on the other side. I'm, I'm just not going to fight it. I'm not going to fight. Uh, I'm, 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 just, I'm just not going to fight this image. I'm just going to give it an 8 out of 10. I want to fuck the car, boy. Don't judge me. <sighs> that was a very audible sigh. It's kind of what I feel about this picture. I, 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 I can't watch anime ever again. I, I really just can't. And this picture is a little bit innocuous. It's, it's not, you know, that bad compared to other things that I've seen and talked about and reviewed. But I can't get over the fact that its skin looks like greasy cafeteria meat. It looks like grade D meat. It looks like the kind of meat a school would buy wholesale for $5 a ton. And they slapped an anime girl out of this cafeteria meet. They had some kind of satanic ritual and summoned her onto the internet and now she exists with her greasy fucking hair and her gross fucking cafeteria meat skin and her giant uh, sacks of flesh. Her giant chests ballooning with greasy cafeteria meat. I'm just going to give this a, an audible sigh. We're just going to go back to my audible sigh because that's the only thing that I that can really, you know, encompass how I feel about this entire picture. <sighs> All right, so this one's just a clusterfuck of information, and I'm going to try to name as many characters as I can. And there's a little bit of confusion going on in the middle. There's a... Uh, Lion King characters dressed up as the Beatles. To the left of them, there's the, the actual Beatles, and underneath them are the Lion King cubs, representing which Beatles they are. You know, it's fucking okay. Underneath the Lion King cubs is a Mickey Mouse head made of meat or mushrooms, meat mushrooms. Michael Jackson is there. Jimi Hendrix is there. The cartoon version of Matt Groening is there. Not even real Matt Groening, the cartoon version of Matt Groening, or the cartoon version of Kevin Smith. I don't know. You know, I don't know. David Bowie's there. Edgar Allan Poe is there. Alfred E. Newman is there from Mad Magazine. Who Who else? I, I don't fucking know. There's that guy who, who was Inspector Gadget. Uh, he, he killed someone. He, he fucking just, just killed someone. I, I, that's all I know about him. I don't even remember his name. Matthew Broderick is his name. I, th pretty, I think his name is Matthew Broderick. I'm, I might be right. I might be wrong. 50-50 chance. Who the fuck knows? And some other people. You know, I, I really don't know. Is that Toto in the background? I fucking, I really, I really just don't know everyone on this, uh, on this, uh, clusterfuck. I'm gonna give this a C minus. You get a C minus. You know, there's not a lot of white, not a lot of little white pieces sticking around everywhere, so at least there's, you know, that. You get that. That's neat. <laughs> <laughs>